I, I couldn't think of a more amazing job than AI if I tried. And you're gonna do it. You have to. Or else I will personally teach you. Do you understand? So, you probably know what's coming. It's gonna be a lot of fun today. First, check out the showcase, and then we'll dive into the latest free WAN 2.2 workflows. Yes, free workflows. You can run them locally in Comfy UI on your own machine, or if your PC is a bit weak, no worries. You can run them on the web instead. And don't worry if Comfy UI seems intimidating. Everyone will be able to handle it today. With a skyline shown, climbing up high, I cut the weight, dropping the ones that will hold me late. I'm, 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 I'm wave, cold tsunami, no soul to save. Drag you under, no trace, no sign. Deep in the waters, I cleanse what's mine. Find me moving. It's never simple, it's a thousand layers deep. Your attempts are kind of noble, but restart, don't fall asleep. You're still chasing your reflection, never catching what it means. I can sit and do just nothing, still create a bigger scene. My attention's locked on only what is real Yours is guided by the whispers What they tell you, what they feel I don't trust their empty phrases Their eyes lie with sharper aim But my stare could cut them open Weaponize inside the game I'm, I'm, I'm stone High on the peak with the skyline shown Climbing up high, cut the weight Dropping the ones that will hold me late I'm wave, cold tsunami, no soul to save Drag you under, no trace, no sign Deep in the waters, I cleanse what's mine You a squirrel in a cycle Trapped inside a time-made ring I got nowhere, I must hurry Moving slows my lightning bang Still you feed on others' wishes Dance to orders, wear the chain I just name you what you're showing Working title, slave by name Even drained of every ounce I keep pushing, still I grind Wonder why I'm calm in storms Discipline controls my mind They have trained you just to follow Barking back at each demand But with me there is no training I'm the I'm, I'm hot, I'm, I'm stone High on the peak with the skyline shown I'm, 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 I'm way Crashing forever, no soul to save Everything you just watched was powered by WAN 2.2, and I've crafted the ultimate workflows so you can dive right in. You'll find all the links waiting for you in the description, ready to run locally on your own machine. But don't worry if your setup isn't a powerhouse. I'll also walk you through Running Hub with Comfy UI, so even lighter machines can join the ride. All right, here's what's on the menu for today. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, I'll be using Cloud Comfy UI since I'm working on a Mac, and it doesn't have enough power to handle WAN 2.2. I'm using the Running Hub website for this. If I click Create and then choose Create Blank, it will open a blank Comfy UI workspace that I can use online on their website. There are a lot of workflows available, and the first one we'll start with is voice cloning. Since I'm sure you're curious about how I replicated Nicolas Cage and changed the lip sync at the beginning. If you click on Launch on Cloud, that means the author is OK with sharing the nodes. From there, you can go inside and download the JSON file, which contains all the nodes, and then run it locally on your own machine. Awesome. But if you don't want to deal with the nodes, a lot of authors make apps that are much easier to use. So I'll go to the app for this workflow. First, upload the audio here. I couldn't think of a more horrible job if I wanted to. Choose zero if you want to use the audio file. Choose one if you want to take the voice directly from the video. In my case, it's zero. Then just type your text and click Run. You'll see the progress right here. You'll see two versions. Just choose the one you like best and click Download. Now you're ready to use it in your video. The first workflow is to use an image and bring it to life with audio. Drop your face image into this node. You can also drag and drop it. Upload the audio you just generated and set the dimensions to match your input, according to instructions below. In my case, it's 1280 by 720. Hit run. 
Watch the progress unfold right here. And when it's done, grab the video and let's see what we've created. I couldn't think of a more amazing job than AI if I tried. And you're gonna do it. You have to. As you can see, it's not just the lip sync. The right gestures and emotions have also been brought to life in the video. Now let's jump into the video to video approach. I'm gonna use this clip to layer lip sync over the original video. And I think Bruce Lee's voice will be the perfect match for it. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. All right, here's the workflow on Running Hub. Switch the input to one so it grabs the video. That's what we'll be syncing. Forget about the image, just leave it. Now upload your video into this node, add the audio on top, hit run, and watch as the lip sync comes to life. Once it's done, we'll check out the result together. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Here's the workflow where images can be brought to life by video. Just upload the image you want to animate, then upload the video that will drive it. The best part, every workflow I'm showing today works on animals too. I recommend setting the frame load cap to around 120. That's the number of frames that will be generated. For example, if your video is 24 frames per second and you want five seconds of footage, that's 120 frames. So let's test it out with our star. Michael Katzen. I've applied motion to him using real footage from a Michael Jackson dance. Awesome. Now let's jump into the video to video approach where we'll be replacing the entire character in the scene. I picked the iconic dance from a famous rapper and now I'll show you how to swap out just parts of the character. For example, we'll keep all the clothes and only replace the head. Upload a full body shot into the image input node, and don't forget to describe the character in the prompt node for the best results. There's a node that lets you set points where the mask will be applied. To make this editable, just run the workflow and wait a moment until the image pops up here. Click on new canvas, then hold shift plus left mouse. Click on the canvas to mark the area you want the mask to apply. In our case, we only want to replace the head. So let's drop a few green points right on it. And if you hold shift plus right mouse click, you can place red points to mark the areas you want excluded. You'll also notice a red dot in the top left corner. Now let's set the number of frames to render. I found it works best to keep it under five seconds total for the cleanest results. For this test, I'll go with 30 frames. That's roughly one second of footage. Click run, wait a little, and we're ready to check the result. Awesome. The head is replaced and everything else stays the same. Now if you want to replace the entire character, you already know the drill. Clear the canvas, add green points across the body, and hit run again. A new mask will be generated covering the whole body, which means everything gets replaced. Then you can check out the transformation. As you can see, the character has been replaced flawlessly. The great thing is, you're not limited to swapping characters. You can also change elements within the scene. For example, here I've changed the pattern on the horse, and it applied seamlessly. With the same approach, you can transform backgrounds and much more. The only limit here is your imagination. I also want to point out that you can find any workflow by clicking on workflows and simply searching for what you need. For example, I needed to extend the video borders. Our horse video was vertical, but I wanted a horizontal version. So I just typed extend video and found this one. The beauty here is that you can use these workflows almost like pre-made apps, powered by simple AI. Just upload your video, set the number of frames to render, and remember, less usually gives better results, then hit run. Let's see what we've got. Amazing. It perfectly changed the pattern on the horse and blended naturally with the lighting and environment. Now we're ready to move on to the upscale techniques. Let's jump to other workflow, which is also good in many cases when you found some reference video, but want to wash out the faces and some elements. They're in painting workflow that will change your video by in-painting it completely, but will remain the structure. Let's apply it to some blurry video. As you can see, the video quality has improved, but the original face has been altered. Sometimes that's exactly what I need, especially when I want to swap faces during a clip. But if you'd like to keep the original face and still boost the quality, I recommend using a different approach. In this approach, just upload your video and set the upscale quality here. 
I recommend going with 960 to 1080. This will roughly double the resolution of your source video. Let's check out the result. As you can see, the quality has improved, but honestly, there still isn't an upscaler on the market that does it perfectly. I'm sure one will appear soon. For now, I've used this upscaler in every shot of the video showcase you saw at the beginning. On some clips it worked really well, and on others, not so much. Again, the link to the workflows is in the description, and you can also download them directly from my website. Don't forget to check my previous blog posts as well, where you'll find lots of interesting information. If you're using a weak machine, just create a blank workflow on Running Hub, drag and drop the JSON file, and you're ready to generate. That's all for today, guys. See you in the next episode, and remember... Empty your mind. Be formless.